Good morning, and welcome to Wildcat News for Tuesday. I'm Molly. And I'm Mariana. Please stand for the National Anthem and the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Be seated. Now here are a few words from Principal Reyes. Good morning students, this is Principal Reyes. Today is Tuesday, we're going to have a terrific Tuesday today. Let's make sure that we keep working on the lessons and we keep doing the best that we can. And students, you need to challenge yourself every day. We need to make sure that we are trying something new, something that we have not mastered yet or something that we do not know how to do 100%, let's make sure that we are mastering that and we are practicing that to get better. We need to keep practicing our growth mindset. Growth mindset means that I am not able to do that yet, but you will be able to with practice and also with some instruction, you're gonna be able to do more things as you keep moving forward. Students, let's make sure that we are taking care of ourselves. We are able to read, we're able to do all of our lessons. And remember, you need to be doing at least 30 minutes a day, 30 to 45 minutes a day of language arts, 30 to 45 minutes a day of mathematics, and 30 to 45 minutes a day on science. That's the minimum that you should be doing. In addition, you need to be looking into the Canvas links that the teachers have sent, like the art, music, and physical education. They got some assignments there for you. We need to make sure that we are doing that. In, in our school, we always are working on having well-rounded students. That means that it's not only the books that we have is also the other things that we have that make us whole. And those other things are, like I mentioned, art, music, and PE. That's part of what we do here. We're making sure that you are provided with a well-rounded curriculum in which you take care of the academics and you take care of the other essential classes as well, which are art, music, and PE, in addition to um, everything else that we do. Students, let's make sure that we are working on all that and turning things in on time. Your parents have been communicated that every day we need to communicate with the teacher about your attendance. We need to make sure that you're working on something academic and whether it's class dojo, email, Canvas, Google Classroom, whatever method the teacher and your parents have agreed on, we need to make sure that that daily communication exists because we are working on a distance learning environment. That means that the teacher is working away and your parent is watching to make sure that you're doing the work. At any time that you have questions, the teachers have those hours during the day which they're available. So your parents are able to get in touch with them a little bit faster. 
or we're going to be sharing with you a little bit more on how to get in touch through the Google Classroom or also you can get in touch through Canvas with the teacher. You as a student, you can be responsible for that as well. We do not need to be waiting for our parents to do it for us. Students, let's make sure we keep working. We keep working with this challenging situation and we are going to be very strong once we come out of this. We cannot wait until we get you back in school. We really need you here because we know that your groups work a lot better when you're here. The, the teachers are working very hard and providing everything that they can for you. But once you come back, it's going to be even better. Students, like every day, show what you know, show what you know the first time, and let's have a great learning day. Thank you, Mr. Reyes. Well, that's our show for today. I'm Mariana. And I'm Molly. Have, have a, a terrific, terrific Tuesday. Tuesday.